This weekend, the U.S. Navy commissioned a brand new destroyer in San Diego. It's called the USS Rafael Peralta. It's named after the Marine Corps sergeant who died to save his fellow Marines in the Second Battle of Fallujah, Iraq. That was back in 2004. Severely wounded inside an enemy building, Peralta threw himself on a grenade to save others, other Marines who were wounded nearby. The sergeant had chosen to be an American. He immigrated to the U.S. from Mexico. Rafael's mother was at Saturday's commissioning of the USS Destroyer, obviously named in his honor. She was able to hear this from Marine Corps Commander Robert Neller. Sergeant Peralta's legacy and the stories been told will forever be part of this ship. All he ever wanted to be was an American, to serve his country. The love in his heart so great that those that had the privilege of knowing him felt it. It was, it was powerful. It was infectious. As a Marine, he was part of an integral team, and now this ship will perform its mission as part of a larger team, the United States Navy. You know, when I watch this, I can't help, um, obviously, to think of the hero involved, but to think of where you were last weekend. I yeah, mean, no, last weekend at the commission of the USS Gerald Ford, and when we were on the flight deck of the Ford, we talked to a number of their sailors about the motto of that ship, which was integrity. Right. Uh, from the helm, uh, uh, hearkening back to Gerald Ford uh, and uh, his integrity. And there are actually lessons on the ship, history courses for the sailors and Marines who end up on each one of these ships about what the namesake is, what it means, especially in the case of this, who's named after somebody who served so selflessly. And sailors and Marines around will tell you that the namesake of their ship means an awful lot. That's who they're fighting right. for. That's who, uh, whose legacy they carry on when they set sail. And there was some big news yesterday when we heard uh, about, about some testing that took there place. Was the, the catapult, if you will. We, had some video, we have some yep. video of it for you. Uh, but this was the new catapult on the USS yep. Gerald Ford. There was a lot of questions about whether or not it would work. Here's one of the uh, F-18 Super Hornets came in. Yeah, and, and I will say, I don't think it was an accident that it was perfect <laughs> weather so conditions. Either. They wanted to give themselves uh, every opportunity, but now comes uh, what they call the shakedown. Well, there uh, was a lot riding on that test. This is there a, was. There was obviously a, a huge investment. Was it, was it $13 billion? $13 billion, yeah. It was a great draft block last week, and uh, we wish them fair wins.